Hey, Jordan here, welcome back. So in today's lesson, we're gonna be talking about creating a logo for your website. And so when you're creating a logo, there's really two main things that you're looking at. One is the budget that you have for the logo, and two, your artistic skills. Um, if you already know how to use Adobe Illustrator, um, then you might wanna do it your, yourself or maybe purchase a template. If you're not familiar with Adobe Illustrator, then really you're relying on a graphic designer to create that logo for you. So I'm gonna go through three different resources that I use, um, depending on the website that I'm creating and the budget that I have uh, to create a logo. So the first one that we're gonna start with is 99designs.com. So I love 99designs. I've had multiple logos made with 99designs. And what it is, it's a uh, design contest where multiple graphic designers are gonna work on your behalf to create um, the exact logo that you want. And then only one of those designers will win the contest and that's the, the graphic designer that you'll pay for the logo. So when you're looking at the budget for 99designs, $300 is the minimum. Typically it's gonna be between $300 to $800, $900 to get a, an awesome logo made for your website. So if you've got that kind of budget, then 99designs is a great place to start. Also, um, if you have no graphic design skills at all, um, 99designs is a great place too because then the graphic designer uh, will tweak that logo until it's just right for you. So when you go to 99designs, you click this uh, get started button, and then it's gonna give you lots of different packages to choose from. So we're on the logo and identity. And um, so this most popular one is the logo and brand identity pack. So they're gonna create a logo, they'll put it on business cards, letterhead and envelopes, and a Facebook cover, um, logo and business card, logo and hosted website, you don't need that. Um, logo and social media pack, so a logo, a Facebook cover, Twitter header, YouTube background. Um, so that's $399, so that starts at $400. So that's a good one if uh, you're not very familiar with using uh, Photoshop or Illustrator um, where they, they create it for you. Um, typically what I do when I use this, because I do have um, some skills with uh, Illustrator and Photoshop, is I'll do a logo design contest starting at $299. And then I'll pay for some upgrades to um, bring in some of the higher end graphic designers to work on that contest. So as you go through this, let me just show you real quick. Let's click logo design contest, start a contest. And then it takes you through this brief. So you've got these steps, right? And the first one is uh, what type of logos do you like? So you go through and say, oh yeah, I like this style. I like this style. And so it's giving the graphic designers an idea of the style of logos that you like. And, um, and so you just go through this brief, you fill it out, you tell them um, what you're looking for. You can even upload images of other logos that you like. So those graphic designers can get a feel for what you're looking for. And then you pay and then the logo design uh, contest starts. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, include um, the entire process from start to finish um, using 99designs. So I built a different website recently um, where I use 99designs to get my logo design. So I'm gonna provide all of those videos uh, from start to finish so you can see. So if you're interested in using 99designs, you can see how I used it and to see if that's a good decision for you. Okay, so if 99designs of that $300 to $800 range uh, for a logo is too much for you, then the second option is probably your best, uh, your best bet. So. We're gonna to go to a website called graphicriver.net. Now what Graphic River does is it provides templates that can be customized. So uh, when you're at graphicriver.net, go over to logos, so we'll click logos, and then you type in uh, what you're looking for. So in this case, let's say photography, for example, and now it's gonna pull up all these different templates um, that are available for purchase that can be edited. So let's say I really like this photography uh, logo right here. Um, it's $35 to purchase this. It shows you different versions. On the right hand side, it shows that it comes with an AI, Adobe Illustrator file. So that's really important because Adobe Illustrator um, creates your logo as a vector file. So that means it can be as large enough to be on a billboard without pixelating or losing um, you know, the quality of the image, or it could be on a website really small and still look great. So uh, that's important, that's an Adobe Illustrator file. Um, but let's say you don't know how to use Adobe Illustrator or you don't have that. Um, when you purchase this, uh, after you've purchased it, it gives you the option. Um, usually it's between $20 to $40 uh, to have a graphic designer tweak it for you. So basically if I bought this and then I wanted to put Jordan outside right here, 
um, I could pay that twenty to forty dollars um, after the checkout process um, to to pay that graphic designer to edit this this logo for me. So let me show you a couple others um, here. I'm at Graphic River and I put in the word travel, and you can see that they've got different logo templates for travel. Um, I also went to Graphic River and I put in beach. They've got some pretty cool beach theme um, logo templates. Like I like this one. Um, so anyways, you get the idea that you, you can actually get a logo. You know, this is $29, $29. If you have no graphic design skills, you pay for it to be edited after. So let's say you add on like 40 bucks, 50 bucks, you're still under $100 to get your logo. Okay, so that's Graphic River. And then the last one that I use uh, to create logos um, is Adobe Stock. So because I have a subscription with Adobe, um, I have access to the Adobe Stock um, image library. And uh, in this case, I put in camera logos. I found this uh, Adobe Stock image and I went ahead and licensed it. And then you'll notice that this is the template that I use for my logo. So I downloaded this and then I opened it in Adobe Illustrator. Let me pull up Adobe Illustrator. And here it is. So I changed the color of the camera, the inside, the lens, put jordanoutside.com, your online travel guide is my tagline. And then I knew that I would need a favicon. So I, I like this logo because I could make this into a square, make it into a favicon. So I used the same template. I made another one in Adobe Illustrator and here's the square. So this is the favicon that shows in the browser tab uh, for jordanoutside.com. So I was able to go in um, using using this template and just created my own logo um, with Adobe Stock. So those are the three options I typically go to when creating a logo. Um, the catch with Adobe Stock, let me show you. Um, so I'm on the uh, adobe.com website for Creative Cloud, and this is uh, where it gives you different pricing. So like the photography package gives you Lightroom, Lightroom Classic, Photoshop, 20 gigs of cloud storage, um, just to get one single app, it's $21, um, and then you choose which one you want. Um, and then all apps is $52.99 per month. And then with Adobe Stock, it's $82.98 per month. So uh, because I use all of these um, for multiple projects, and for me it makes sense, I actually have this subscription. So uh, when I went into uh, Adobe Stock and found this, it was already part of what I'm paying for, so it was no big deal. Um, if you don't have a subscription already um, to Creative Cloud to get uh, Photoshop or to get uh, Illustrator, then maybe uh, going, you know, the Graphic River route is your best bet where you're going to get a, a logo that looks great for under 100 bucks. And then if you've got a larger budget and you really want to have um, professional graphic designers working on your behalf, then you go with 99designs.com. So I'm going to provide you with the tutorials um, from when I had uh, my latest logo created on 99designs. So you can see what that whole process looks like. Um, now you know how to go to graphicriver.net and to search um, you know, for these different types of logo templates. And lastly, um, if you do end up getting Creative Cloud and you got the most expensive one, then you would have access you know, to the Adobe Stock library. Um, but if not, you probably want to go with Graphic River, uh, but you might want to get the photography or the single app or the all apps, depending on your budget. Um, because as you're building a website, you're always um, editing images and there are free um, image editing softwares out there. So you don't necessarily have to pay for this, but for me, it makes sense. I love Adobe's product line. Everything works seamlessly together. I subscribe to the, the 82.98 one. All right, so just to recap, getting your logo designed on 99designs, you're looking at $300 to $800 uh, to get that done. If you're going to graphicriver.net, you're looking at about $100 if you're gonna use the uh, custom service to have it uh, customized. Um, and then the last one, if you're going with uh, Adobe Creative Cloud and using their stock images, uh, you would need to have access to the Adobe stock, uh, which is the $82.98 per month. So it just depends on your budget for this. Um, I know a lot of my friends will go to graphicriver.net first just to get a, a good looking logo, you know, to, for example, you know, let's say you went with this, this beach theme logo for your travel site. Um, you know, it's $29. You pay $20, $40 to get it customized, you know, by a graphic designer. So then it has, you know, whatever your domain name is right here. Um, so it's really affordable. 
And those are the solutions that I use um, when creating a logo. And that's it for this lesson, and I'll see you in the next.